so you've been given quadrant three, so we know we're dealing down here. And you've been called, told secant, which is one over cosine, is negative seven over five. But cosine is also one over x on the unit circle, but off the unit circle, it's 1 over x over r. And if we simplify that, we're really looking at r over x. And it should be clear to you that negative 7 over 5 is not on the unit circle, because I don't have my 1 halves, my square root of 3 over 2, square root of 2 over 2, those kind of unit circle values. So that means I must be looking at negative 7 over 5. I've never heard of a negative radius. So that means the radius must be positive, And therefore, the x value must be the negative 5. So if I was to start to draw that, I would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 in the x direction. And my radius is 7. The Pythagorean theorem results in negative 5 squared plus the y value I'm looking for squared equals 49. This turns out to be radical 24, which simplified is 2 radical 6. So now I can come up with cotangent. Cotangent is the reciprocal of tangent. So we're looking for the reciprocal of y over x, which is x over y. So now we just need the x, negative 5, the y, 2 radical 6. That's also a negative. Two negatives make a positive, And when I rationalize my denominator, my final answer is 5 radical 6 